A subscriber of mine wrote me a couple of weeks ago and said, Simon, I'm interested in building muscle after 50 at home. Now, I've been training for a few years in a commercial gym, but my circumstances has changed, which means that I'm forced to have to train at home. I've got two problems. The first problem is I've got a teeny weeny budget. In fact, I've only got $650 to play with. The second problem is I've got the smallest of small spaces. In fact, to be exact, I've got a seven foot by seven foot area to train in. Now, what can I do? Now, hmm, we can build a grand home built physique without putting a hole in your wallet and without taking up all the garage. I'm Simon H, Muscle After 50 coach and naturally jacked 54 year old. And I've been hitting the gym for 42 years and at least half of that time has been done training at home. So now I know a thing or three about building muscle at home. I love a challenge. Come with me and I'll show you what I would do. Okay, folks, before we get started, let me explain. I've got links to all of the products that I'm going to describe in the description. But let me tell you, I'm not an affiliate. I'm just showing you what I would use being in that circumstance of only having 650 bills to play with. Right. You ready? Come on, let's iron up. Let's start with what I consider to be the most important piece of home equipment, and that's a bench. Now, I've been using this finer form bench for over 18 months now, so I feel like I'm qualified to rave about it. Now, while you haven't got to go out and go over the top about buying the most expensive bench, with the same token, you shouldn't opt for the cheapest bench. Now, there are three things that I especially look out for when it comes to a bench. It doesn't matter how much weight you will be or will not be pressing. You want a bench that can withstand more weight than you plan to move. Because laying down and pressing any weight over your head is serious business. So you want to be confident that the bench is going to be able to stand up to anything thrown at it. So I like to shoot for a thousand pound weight limit. See in the words, newly reinforced powder coated alloy steel tells you that the company that makes this bench takes the strength and stability of their products seriously. When it comes to training at home, especially in confined spaces, your bench needs to be able to do two things for you. It needs to be multi-purpose. So this bench has a preacher curl attachment, which can turn into a hyper extension. So we can check that beauty right off the list. The second thing it must do, it must be adjustable. So this beautiful thing laying before me has seven positions to enjoy from decline all the way up to a 90 degree angle. Now, one thing I do hate about most pieces, most benches that are made for home use is that the decline position is a bitch to get in and out of and it's the most uncomfortable feeling. So when I want a decline position, I like to put the bench in a flat position, take something like a crate or a small wooden platform, and put it onto the foot end of the bench. And then if for safety, I might put a dumbbell just here and a dumbbell right at the other, the head side of the bench, just to stop the bench from moving. Now you have a beautiful, more natural decline position to get in and out of. This makes perfect sense because this little beauty comes in at a whopping 212 of those glorious dollars. Not bad. Leaves us some moolah for the dumbbells. Because we're on a budget, this cast iron adjustable dumbbell set is going to be the cheapest solution for the most weight. Here we have a pair of dumbbells weighing in at 100 pounds, totaling 200 pounds with a range of weight from 1.25 pound 
to £10. These dumbbells are made from heavy duty cast iron and coated with a protective layer that prevents it from rusting and chipping. As per usual, I like to give you the good as well as the bad with all of the pieces of equipment. So the one issue that you may find with this adjustable set is that sometimes the star twist clamp doesn't always stay tight enough. So always get in the habit of checking that the clamp is tight enough before every lift. That's one easy way of staying safe. Now this dumbbell set comes in at a whopping $229.99. Still leaves us a little bit of room to get some optional pieces of equipment. One of the things you don't want to forget when you're thinking about training at home is protective floor matting. Now, you don't have to go buck wild. Just get one packet of six, will cost you $25.99. And these golden squares will save you getting an argument with your missus when you drop that weight and damage the floor save the headache of damaging your cast iron dumbbells. Everybody's happy. Plus, we still got some Benjamins to play with to get some other options for the gym. If you haven't got any overhead beams in your garage or spare bedroom that can take some serious weight, what you might want to consider doing is either purchasing something like a very cheap power rack doesn't have to be anything special. The only thing that it needs to be able to do is take a 350 pounds weight capacity, or you could get yourself a pull-up dip station. Now, there are a couple of good reasons why I've added this to our list of pieces of equipment. And the first one is the obvious. Chin-ups, wicked exercise. Dips, almost as good. But the second reason is because that one piece of equipment has made your gym 10 times more functional. I'm going to explain when we show you the next piece of equipment that you should add to your gym. Man, if you wanna blow out that back, bulge out them biceps and triceps, and also have a better use for the pull-up and the dip station, you have got to get hold of this weight cable pulley system. Now, talk about having a pull-down, a row, and all the other cable exercises that you can imagine, all in one space. This little beauty comes in under 60 bucks and is so versatile and easy to assemble, you'll be a fool not to add it to your shopping list. Phew, we're crushing this $650 home gym mission. So first we started off with a really good, multifunctional, adjustable bench that had a thousand pound capacity. Then we went cast iron on it all and got ourselves a nice cast iron set that was about 200 pound in total, split between two, a pair of 100 pound dumbbells. And then we went one better and protected our space with some foam matting, cheap as hell, but does the job of protecting that floor. And then we went for a pull up dip station or a power rack that's about 80 odd dollars and then we added the bonus which was that pulley system which will help us do our back beauty our chest our arms great stuff now all together do 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 i think we spent about 620 bucks so we still got about 30 bucks to play with so one other piece that i would definitely add to the gym is some resistance bands. No home gym is worth its salt without an array of resistance bands. These little beauties are great for a warm up, a warm down, and adding to exercises. Now, here's an extra tip. When the moolah starts to mount up again and you're getting a little bit more cash and you've got some extra pennies to spend, you might want to um, think about purchasing some different um, handles for your pulley system. And also, you might want to consider something like a kettlebell handle. Now, this tie and space saving piece of equipment is a really good buy. 
because now you can have a kettlebell from anything from five pound up to about 80 pound, all in this one handle. So this is an, another great piece of equipment that you can add to your home gym. Now I think we are crushing it. We are crushing it. So there are no excuses for you not to be building muscle at home. Even if you've got a small budget or the smallest of spaces. Now this is the end of the video. Before you check out, make sure if you're not a subscriber that you click that subscribe button and tend to the notification bell to make sure that whenever I bless you with the good stuff for building muscle after 50, that you're the first to know. And I will see you on the next bout of building muscle after 50. Peace.